Hi, I'm SCJ Repair Shop, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have received Poco X3 Pro with common issue, according to my client, while playing games, the phone gets too hot, and he doubted that there's something wrong with his phone. After that, his phone started to perform unusual, and he noticed there's something wrong with his phone because of too much heat, and that thing disturbed his mind, because he never experienced it before, and here it is, the phone stopped working, and he tried to plug into charger but the phone doesn't give any sign of power, so, he started to contact us, to help him solve his problem, and today, I will show you how to deal with this kind of issue. This is the most disturbing issue of this model, some users cried out for help because of this matter, and there's no other way to solve this issue unless I have successfully deal the CPU, right guys, the main cause is the CPU. Let's plug into charger and see if there's a sign of power. No power. Let's try to press power button. No signs of power. Now, I need to fast forward this video to minimize the amount of time for this process. Let me explain the technical terms of this matter. This problem called dead boot, means no sign of power, your phone become dead boot because of manufacturing issue, and it's not your problem, so stop blaming yourself. Saying this, I overused my phone that's why it turns to dead boot, and I overcharged it every day every night, and that cause it became broken, it's not your problem, it's manufacturing issue, and there's only one thing we're in the main source of this problem, called pseudo soldering. Let me explain to you what is pseudo soldering. It is caused by the oxidation, vulcanization or contamination of the surface of the soldered metal and becomes non-weldable. That's why when you reheat the main chips or the CPU the phone works normally, because the pseudo solder has become weldable. But, after 2 or 3 days, the pseudo solder back to non-weldable again, and the phone is turned to dead boot. So you do the same process over and over, and the worst part of it, the CPU is over reheated, and that's the end of the game. Guys, just to let you know, if you want to solve this issue, you need to remove the RAM and the CPU very carefully, clean and reball it one by one, and that's the only way. First I need to remove black adhesive around the chip very carefully and nicely, to perfectly facilitate the separation. Now, execute the RAM first with a temperature of 380 degrees Celsius and wind flow 65, for about 40 to 50 seconds, and do the same process and same temperature on CPU. Please take note, you must very careful on how you dismantle CPU, because it is the thinnest chip than the RAM, be careful not to bend or else the chip has been damaged, and all of this process is going to trash. Clean the CPU bonding pads, while cleaning, make sure not to damage nearby components around it, to prevent this process unsuccessful. Before I forgot, guys, if you're new in my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for you to get notified in my future videos. After neutralizing the remaining solder, remove existing black adhesive on bonding pads.
While cleaning, I need to make sure to cover up with a new solder each of the pins of the bonding pads, for me to have this work a successful result. Alright, done cleaning the bonding pads successfully. Now let's clean the CPU very carefully, and do the same process on how I clean the bonding pads. Okay, the lower part of the CPU is looks like covered each of the pins with the new solders, and that's indicate I have done cleaning successfully the CPU. Let's proceed to the RAM with the same procedure on how I manage the CPU.
Very nice, the ram looks all the pans has been covered up with the new solders, let's prepare them for reballing process. Reball the CPU first. Alright, done reballing the CPU. Now let's reball the RAM with the same procedure. Alright, done reballing the RAM, now. Prepare them for installation process. Please you must be careful on how you install each chips into a right position, because wrong installation may lead to severely damage the chips or the motherboard. For your reference, just look the position of those filter capacitors. and place it gently accordingly into positions. Let's install the CPU first. And install the RAM. Ok, done installing the chips, clean the motherboard and cool down for about 4 to 5 minutes, and assemble for testing. Let's plug into charger and see the result. Ok, there's a charging current on my product schematic, I think the battery is fully drained, let's wait for a while and see if the battery is going to charge. Alright, I think the battery is perfectly charged, let's try the powering on, perfect, POCO logo on screen, that's indicate I have done successfully the process. 
Let's try to check all the functions one by one. So far so good. Let's try to check the bass band. Okay, I think it's all working right now, I have now working perfectly unit with good as new performance, this is the end of my video guys, I hope it will help you through this video, see you, and bye bye.